Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see that red one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Now here's a ship that's definitely worth a second look. Let's talk about money. Your money. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? I'd love to. I really would. I usually do, but not for the amount this baby's going to run you. Maybe one of the other ships would be more in your price range. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? Sure, sure. You're obviously an educated guy who wants to make an educated decision. Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? Let's talk about money. Your money. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? 
You could sell this puppy away today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm gonna be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right. 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. You little two-faced cretin, you tricked me. Oh, come on. Don't be bitter. I'm here to help, not just for the money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right?
Is it true what I heard about you and the storekeeper? Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. 